What's up everybody, it's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in that Reborn Rich. So we're about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, want to take support any further, Patreon link is in the description below. Also join our top of day membership and hit the notification bell. So I get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So let's go ahead and get into it now. Trust me, bro. I'm hesitant to guarantee you anything right now only because I don't own a single share of the corporation myself. What I'm talking about is way ahead in the future. After grandfather passes the business down to my father, it would take me other t oh, it would take me another 10, no, at least 15 years for me to inherit it. How can I guarantee anything that would happen 15 years later? Yonju will never trust me 100%. However, I won't act like an outsider that has no interest whatsoever in the ownership share of the crew. Covering a little bit of it would make it look more real. Are you telling me to wait 15 years on your promise to get a hands on them? And keep working for you like a servant in the meantime? You gotta be kidding me. What do you mean like a servant, bro? You'll be my right hand man, not a servant. And if you really think that's a possibility in the future, of course, I'll give you the shares you deserve. You have my word. I'll obviously have to compensate you properly to keep you motivated. He's gotten much better at acting. <laughs> Why don't we talk about it in detail while we're at it? How much exactly do you want? This is the answer that matters a lot. I need to give him numbers that are large enough, yet would still make him think I'm not aiming to seize everything by myself. What could it be? 25% of Sun Yang's shares you would own in the future. You're like, that's kind of a lot, but yeah, not a lot. <clears throat> I made it ambiguous enough. It's not a lot, but still significant. But I'm kind of disappointed in his inability to reply right away. He's not promising me something he has to give me tomorrow. We're here to play a game and discuss empty promises. You gotta guarantee it right away in a situation like this, dude. Situation like this, dude, babe. Let's say you won a lottery. How much of that money would you give me? Hmm? How much would you give me? He like, shit, I'd be like, shit, are we married? If we ain't married, you might not get nothing. I don't know. Well, a one moment of hesitation. That's all it took for us to have another huge argument. I had to suffer death stares from my wife for an entire week. I should have said everything immediately to make her feel better because I wasn't going to win anyways. Even if I miraculously won against all odds, I could have just lied about it. That's probably the face I made back then. 25% I will have permanently remain on your side in case you have to defend the throne from somebody else later on. And when you retire from management and your son, which would be my own nephew, succeeds the corporation, I'll sell it to him at a bargain. You're looking way ahead. I don't even have a kid yet. You can pass that 25% of the shares down to your own son, bro. I don't know. I can't tell if he's being legitimate or he's just stupid. I'm, I'm so lost. Grandfather would lose his mind if he actually saw this. His two grandsons talking about how to split his wealth when nothing is set in stone. Wow, that means a lot to me. All that when I haven't even made up my mind yet. Don't worry about it. Think of it as a plan B for your life. If the career path you decided to follow doesn't work out in the future, remember this promise. I won't either. Time to agree with him for the first time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Truth be told, I really didn't know that's how much you cared about me. Stop it, bro. You're making it awkward. In order to throw in the next week and smoothly, that may be, oh, that may be way ahead in the future, but I'm later to have fun on you and I are thinking the same way. Let's help each other every way we can to make Sun Yang the best corporation in the entire world. Of course. I'll always be on your side to support you if, you, if I join a family business. He like, boy, you a sucker. <laughs> he like, boy, you are a sucker. All right, let's see how you respond to this one. <clears throat> Young Jun, do you have some money to spare? Money? Why? Do you need some? Oh no, I don't even have anything to buy. Then why? I wanted to prove to you that I meant it when I told you I was going to support you. I'm listening. 
I don't know if you know this, but Seon O donated a huge lump sum of money to fund Uncle's mayoral campaign. What, really? Yeah, Uncle visited me first to ask me for donations, but everything I own is currently being or ah, currently being operated by American Investments, so I couldn't. Instead, I introduced Seon O to him, and they struck a deal somehow. Do you know what Seon was supposed to get in return? That's exactly what I'm trying to get at. Guys, go on, oh, go and take a break for now. I'll call you again when I need you. You ain't, Doji ain't really gotta be playing this boy like that, bro. He playing this dude like a fiddle, Lord. Hold on, are you talking about the new media company project? Now, Uncle was pushing throughout his campaign. Is that why the acquisition day on construction took place? Yeah. You know how a whole bunch of Suyang construction managers transferred to Daya, and Grandfather Sayar are business partners. But they kept the information so well hidden. What kind of information? The location. Location? Yeah, no one knows precisely where the new media company will stand. I get that it's a huge project and they don't want to disclose it yet. Right, because real estate prices will skyrocket once it's made public. That will happen each time it passes through a phase like announcement permanent company bid. What a perfect opportunity to hide your slush funds. Absolutely. You really about to swindle this man out of his fucking money. Doshun. So, you know the location. Where is it? I don't even know if I believe it. If Dojun told me the location, would I even believe it? But this dude's so gullible. He think he got Dojun like in his back pocket like my boy. It's going to be around St. Nam in Mapo District. It's like, huh? St. Nam? Me like, that shit don't even make fucking sense. St. Nam, why the, like, why the hell would it be there? That don't even make mathematical sense. Like this, this just don't even make sense. Boy, you, this dude's so gullible. I, I feel bad for him. <clears throat> he, he can't inherit the business, bro. He'll get taken advantage of every step of the way. He already said he sucks with numbers. Like, that's, that's like red flag right there. Like, bro, you can't even do numbers? And you trying to run an entire corporation, the biggest corporation in your country? Like, bro, that's, that's rough. That's, that's rough. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. You did make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep on me to Twitter, Discord links. All of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.